So the first thing I'll need to do is find the Autodesk Education website, which I always do just by Googling it. And you can see it comes up the top result in Google and you just give it a little click. On the home page of this website, you'll see that Maya is listed. So you can just click on that to be taken through to the page to get it downloaded. So this is the page that you'll download from. But the first thing you need to do is sign in. So if you have an account, you can do that. But if you're watching this video, I'm guessing you don't have an account. So I'll take you through that now. The first thing you need to do is tell them where in the world you are, as well as your educational role. So I'm an educator, but chances are you're going to be a student and then put in your institution type as well. So I'm currently based in university slash post-secondary and then click on next. Now to finish creating your account, you need to give them your first and last name, an email address, create a password, and of course, agree to their terms and conditions. Once you do that, you can click on create account. They will then send you a verification email to the email address that you put in when you were signing up. So I did that off screen because I don't want you guys looking through my emails. And then once my account was verified, I could move on. Once your account is verified, they just need a few more details from you. So where you currently work or are studying and which department you're in, what kind of area that you teach or are studying, and then how you intend to use it. Uh, I'm pretty sure you need to tell them it's personal use only. If you want to deploy it uh, in an institution, then you need to pay for that. So you really want to be using the personal use option here and then click on next. If you don't see your educational institution in the list with all the others, then you can request it to be added. All you need to do is fill in the form uh, and I think you need to put on the website of the educational institute. I had this issue uh, with a couple of my students, they needed to get where I work added. So three or four of them all made the request. It took about a month and then they were able to install Maya. So if that's the case for you, you might need to do the same thing. So now you should get this nice little confirmation that your account has been set up and you can click on continue to go back to the downloads page. Here we are all signed in and back on the downloads page. You've got some drop down boxes to tell them what you want. So I'm going to be using Maya 2020 today. It's going to be the Windows 64 bit version for me and my primary language is English. So I'm choosing that, although I don't think there are any other options. At this stage, it will auto generate your serial number. So you can just pop that in if you need to later. Um, and it will give you some information on how you're allowed to use this. So you can install it on up to two personal devices, which I think is pretty nice. And then you can go on to click on install now. It'll ask you to accept some more terms and conditions. And then the download file will be downloaded. Let this download and then open it. Here's the window you'll see once the installer opens. And the first thing it wants you to tell it is where to install. I'm just going to go to the default location and click on next. And then you get the options to choose which things you want to install alongside Maya. I recommend leaving all these set to one. They don't take up much space and they're important aspects of the application that you're probably going to use at some point. So once you've decided what you want to install, click on the big blue install button. This gets the installer going and installs all the components that you've asked it to. It'll probably take a little while because it's got to download everything and install it. I think it took about 20 minutes for me, but I've obviously sped it up because that would be boring to watch. Once the installation is complete, you will be asked to restart your computer, which you obviously need to do to complete the installation. Once your computer has restarted, you'll be able to open Maya 2020 and it will ask you whether or not you're a single user, multi-user, or if you've already got a serial number, you can just enter that, which is what I would recommend doing. I tried the single user thing and then signing in. It didn't really work for me. I had to put the serial number in. So that is what I recommend that you do as well. So here's the window where you put your serial number in. I've obviously blurred mine out because I don't want you to have it. You can get your own. Uh, and when you've done, just click on the next button. It'll just take a second to activate your product license. And then hopefully Maya will just open and you'll be ready to use it. So there you go. It was successful for me. So I can just click on finish and let the software open up properly. And there we go. You've now got Maya 2020 in all its 3D glory goodness. I'm assuming that if you want this for free, you're probably learning how to use Maya right now. And if that's the case, I recommend that you check out my Maya for beginners tutorial. It is, I think, the best that you're going to get for free on YouTube. It takes maybe a couple of hours to complete. And by the time you've done it, you'll have a really good overview of loads of the modeling features, texturing, some animation if you want to get into that. You'll have a good foundation.